Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this uh, series of questions about uh, KCL and, uh, and KVL. And here we want to see how we can find a voltage in an open, an open circuit. So this question says that find Vx. So all we want to find is Vx, the voltage between this point and this point. That this is uh, Vx. And finding a voltage in open circuit sometimes is confusing to the students. And the reason for that because because the current in an open circuit is equal to zero, sometimes the student confused with the current equal to zero and they assume that the voltage would be also equal to zero and that's wrong. An open circuit means that there is no current, but there could be a voltage. And let's see this. So we have this question. We want to use KCL and KVL and or KVL, of course, to find this Vx. So what we do, we assume a current. So we have the current I here. And this I will come to this node. Now, the current that goes down here equal to zero because this is an open circuit, so there is no current. So it's exactly the same current I in this circuit. So we have only one loop actually, and we'll have the current I. Now, the voltage here with this polarity will equal to five Ki, and the voltage here is 10 Ki, and this is the, the polarity. That's all, okay? So we have only one current, one unknown. We will apply KVL. So apply KVL to outer loop. So this is the loop that we would be applying KVL to to find this unknown, which is I. I don't need to apply any other equations because I have only one, one unknown. So we have five Ki plus minus 5 plus 10 Ki minus 10 equal to 0. So we have 15 Ki is equal to 15. So your I will equal to the 15 volt divided by the 15 K resistance, which is 1, one milliamp. Okay. Now, Let's see how we find Vx. Vx is the voltage between two points. We have to use KVL to find this Vx. Now, the current that goes here, we know now it's equal to zero. So the voltage across the two kilo ohm resistance, the voltage here is also equal to zero. Okay, so keep this, mind, this in mind when we do the, the KVL. So we can do KVL now. Uh, let me change the color to make it clearer. We can make uh, KVL in in the loop, in, in the inner loop, actually, or to loop to the left, which is this loop. So we can apply KVL here. So the voltage here is 5 Ki. The voltage here is 0. The voltage here is the unknown Vx. And the voltage here is 10 volt. So we know all the voltages. So apply KVL to the left loop, which is in red. So we will have, now I, we know it, it's one milliamp. So 5KI is 5K times 1 times 10 to minus 3, one milliamp. Plus zero, this voltage across the two kilo ohm resistance, plus Vx minus 10 is equal to zero. Now, K will cancel with 10 minus T, so this becomes five plus Vx minus 10 equal to zero. And from this, you can say that Vx is equal to five, five volt. So you can, as you can see here, Vx has actually a, a value, although the current that goes through this branch is equal to, is equal to zero.